from the 100.5 and 790 Newsroom. This is WSGW News. It's 3.03 at WSGW. Good afternoon. I'm Jonathan Dent. State police are asking for the public's help locating a missing St. Louis man last seen in Saginaw. According to police, 39-year-old Matthew David Burkard was last seen Friday afternoon by a family friend. His family says he was making concerning statements before he went missing and does not have a means of transportation. Anyone with information on Burkard's whereabouts is encouraged to contact the MSP Lakeview Post at 989-352-8444. A Buena Vista man who accidentally shot his neighbor has been sentenced to jail time and probation. 56-year-old Frank Hudson pleaded no contest last month to one count of careless discharge of a firearm resulting in death. The charge stemmed from an incident in which Hudson and his neighbor, 36-year-old Joseph Diaz, were drinking together when they heard what sounded like gunshots outside. Hudson retrieved his handgun and later accidentally fired it at Diaz, striking him in the chest. Diaz was pronounced dead at a local hospital. Hudson was sent sentenced Monday to six months of jail time, followed by two years of probation. A Midland resident and Michigan Department of Transportation employee was awarded with MDOT's Director's Award, the department's highest employee honor for outstanding service. Amanda Novak was recognized in the professional specialist category. She ensured accountability for construction activities in environmentally sensitive areas by coordinating the development of a new approval process for project staging and dealing with excess material on MDOT right-of-way. She spent considerable time gaining input and buy-in from the Federal Highway Administration, the Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy, and the Department of Natural Resources, including meeting with impacted staff and development, construction, maintenance, and associated business areas to communicate the process change and answer any questions. Due to the success of the new process, it has been added to the construction manual and became a statewide practice and is now required by the FHWA. WSGW News Time is 305, the weather forecast for today. We're looking at partly to mostly sunny skies, a high of 81 degrees. Tonight, clear with a low of 59. Tomorrow, partly to mostly sunny once again with a high of 84. And Thursday, a chance for some rain later on in the day with a high of 81. This is WSGW, your connection to the Great Lakes Bay region and the world. Listen to this station. Any-